A Dutch physicist, Johannes van der Waals, searched for a link of the behaviors of gases and liquids. In order to correct for the fact that the volume of a real gas is too large at high temperatures, Walls knew that he needed to subtract a term from the volume of a real gas before we substitute it in to the ideal gas equation. That constant was constant B. Constant B is equal to the volume actually occupied by a mole of gas particles. After subtracting constant B, this equation is produced. P times the quantity of V minus NB is equal to N times RT. At high pressures, when the volume of the gas is small, the NB term corrects for the fact that volume of a real gas is larger than expected from the ideal gas equation. The force of attraction between gas molecules that tends to hold molecules together causes two consequences. The first, that gases condense to form a liquid at low temperatures. The second, that pressure of a real gas is sometimes smaller than expected for an ideal gas. In order to fix the fact that the pressure of a real gas is smaller than expected from the ideal gas equation, Walls added constant A. Constant A is in the form A times N squared divided by V squared. After Walls added constant A, he yielded the final equation P plus A times N over V squared multiplied by the quantity V divided by N minus V yields R times T. And that is the Johannes van der Waals equation.